it was great when I first went. A teacher there made me feel very comfortable, and his name was Arthur Claridge. You know, he took a liking to me. What I didn't know at the time was that was part of the grooming process. It wasn't till 70 to 71, it was the winter time because I had the flu and he comes up into my room. He says, geez, Johnny, you don't feel so well. And I said, no, Mr. Claridge. I said, I'm all stuffed up. And he reached down and he, and he pulls out this little Vixen inhaler. He says, this will help clear you up, right? So I did. And it wasn't Vix that was in that. I woke up and uh, I couldn't see it was so blurry, you know? I'm laying on my bed and I see, I see this blurry picture. And then my senses come back, you know? I, I, and I scream, and he falls off the bed, pulling his pants up, <laughs> telling me it's lights out, you know. <sighs> so the next day, I called up my mom, <sighs> and uh, I told her what happened, and she didn't believe me. You know, I just, I just wanted to play hockey. That's all I wanted to do. The next day I went to see the headmaster coffin. I told him the whole story. He put his pipe down, tapped in the ashtray real hard, and goes, come now, Johnny, come now. You've got a vivid imagination. <laughs> 